Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am reviewing the highly anticipated Jaclyn Hill palettes in collab with Becca Cosmetics. I did attend an event, I believe a week and a half ago, and they gave us a sneak peek of everything that's coming out in addition to a very generous goodie bag with all the new products. So I do have those now, and I'm gonna show them to you. We're gonna do a little review, and then I'm going to show you how I achieved this full face using some of those products. So if you are interested in seeing that, Stay tuned. Bam! Here it is. The Jaclyn Hill Face Collection Palette. Comes with a nice gold case which will protect your powders from breaking. Has a huge mirror on the inside. It looks like super close up. So this is a luminous blush. The Champagne Pop and Prosecco Pop which is on the bottom and two matte blushes. I also have a blog post on the entire collection and I will link it below so anybody that wants to see still pictures and some swatches, you can check it out there. This palette will retail for $52, which I think is a pretty good deal because each of these, I want to say is $30, $35, so you get all of this stuff for $52, which I think is a great deal. So they will also offer Champagne Pop in liquid, cream, which looks like this. And the classic powder so you'll have three options depending on what your preference of highlighter is so they have the cream the powder and the liquid they all have similar finishes but they are slightly different Jaclyn Hill also has a five pan eyeshadow palette which is coming out and you can find those pictures on my blog like I said the link will be listed below so now let's jump into this tutorial so this is the look that I'm going to be showing you today it's like this super quick and easy, dewy look, which is perfect for the summertime. Did not use a lot of products. I wanted to keep it pretty simple. I know someone's gonna be like, bitch, you use like 25 products, but you know, it's a little bit of products for me. So I do have these under eye patches on right now. These are from the company Patchology. I picked these up, I believe, at Neiman Marcus. There's 30 pair in here. I believe this container was like $50, $55. Um, and I have noticed that my under eyes are a little bit smoother. I don't know if it's like the placebo effect, so I think that they look smoother. But they do feel really good on the skin. I haven't been using them long enough to see if they yield any like other benefits, but I'll keep you guys posted on them. So you just leave them on for five minutes under your eyes. Then peel them off and you blend in the serum underneath. Just going to grab a little bit of the Tarte Clean Slate Primer and I'm just blending that into my skin. So this is my favorite corrector at the moment. This is the Liquid Salmon Concealer and Eye Brightener. This is by Eve Pearl and it comes in one of these tubes that you push up. It's similar to the MAC ones. So I do have some darkness under my eyes, so I'm going to concentrate that product there. Then I'm just going to grab a damp beauty blender and I'm going to blend that out. And that instantly like brightens my under eye. So the foundation I'm going to be using today is the Hybrid Gel Foundation by Tarte. This is in the shade Medium Tan Honey. So this is like an ultra super full coverage foundation, but it feels really lightweight on the skin and I love how it photographs. So this is definitely one of my tops right now. So since I am focusing on more luminous skin, I'm going to be mixing this with the new Jaclyn Hill ColourPop Shimmer Skin Perfector. So I'm just going to apply this with my finger. And you really don't need a lot of this product. I probably use too much but I kind of blend it into the skin as I go around. So with liquid highlighters, you can either apply them directly into the foundation, you can kind of mix them up, or you can just apply it one on top of your foundation and just kind of blend it in. This is, so I'm just gonna go on with a beauty blender. I usually use a brush, but I think I'm gonna use a beauty blender today. I love how that blends into the skin. It doesn't look heavy. So with liquid highlighters, like I said, you can apply them into the foundation. You can apply them on top of the foundation, which is how I did it. Or you can go in after 
and apply it. So I'm just gonna grab my Chunky Stick by Clinique and I just want to warm up the hairline. So I'm just gonna take the end of the Beauty Blender, the bottom part, and just blend out this line. So I'm just gonna go in with the Eve Pearl Concealers. These are both new products to me. They look like this. I have light medium and medium tan. And I'm just applying a little bit under my eyes. I cut my nails really short so now I can use my hands to do my makeup again. These concealers are super, super creamy. You wanna make sure that you bring it into the tear duct area, especially if you have darkness in that area. I'm gonna go in with that same beauty blender. And I'm just patting that out. So I'm just going with the powder that I always use. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent. And then I'm just going to apply a super light dusting of this one. This is the Creamy Powder Foundation by Tarte in the shade Tan Honey. And I'm just going to apply a little bit of this all over the rest of my face. And this is the Dose of Colors Large Powder Brush. So these are the two that I'm going to be using. And I'm literally just grabbing a tiny amount because I do want to be more luminous today. But powder will ensure that your makeup stays all day, even if you do want a really luminous glow. I always recommend, even if it's just setting it with a tiny amount of powder. And I'm just going to be using two bronzers today. I'm going to be using the Hula Bronzer by Benefit and Sunkissed by Urban Decay. Um, I This one is like a true, you can see it, it's like a true bronzing shade. And this one has like a hint of color, like a little bit of a pink tone. And I just like how they look together, which is why I mix them. And I'm just going to be using that on the Dose of Colors contour Angled Contour Brush. Looks like this. These brushes are super fab. So I'm just going to be grabbing some of this, dusting off all the excess. And I'm just going to blend that out. So I'm just going to grab this palette by Jouer. And I'm just going to go in with this shade right here. It's a bronzer, but I want to use it for my eyes. So this is Perfect Tan Mineral Powder Bronzer, and I'm going to grab a little bit of Sahara as well. So I'm using this shade and this shade right here. I'm just grabbing this on a Morphe 441 brush. And I'm just applying a little bit of color to the crease area. Nothing crazy. Things. And this is the Tarte The Eye Architect. It's a liner in shadow. So it looks like this. It's pretty cool. So this end comes off and it's basically an eyeshadow. The product's in here and every time you put it in, it grabs a little bit of product. So I'm just going to apply this to my lid. Because I just wanted something quick. And then I'm just going to use that same brush and just blend out those edges. And I'm done with my eyes. <laughs> I know. Now I'm going to be using the Goof Proof 
eye pencil. This is the new one by Benefit. This shade I believe is a little bit dark on me, but I'm going to apply it and I can always apply a brow gel, which is just gonna tone it down. This is the first time I'm using this. The color payoff is really nice. You literally need to use it super sparingly. Super precise and really nice brow. I'm just gonna have to grab the lighter shade. Since my hair is a little bit lighter, I don't wear my eyebrows too, too dark. I think maybe I'll do a video with just the brow products so you guys can check them out because they do come out in like a month. So just let me know in the comments if you guys just want to see like a more in-depth brow tutorial. There's also a brow gel, but that brow gel is a little bit dark for me. So I'm just going to use my usual one. This is Toasted Blonde by MAC. I also really like Caramel by Anastasia, which is the one that I use as well. And this one just gives me more of a lightened brow look. But I still like the base of my brows being dark and then just lightening them with brow gel. So now that those are on, I'm just going to take that same Dose of Colors powder brush that I used earlier and I'm just going to dust off that excess. So now we're going to go in with the Becca Cosmetics and Jaclyn Hill Face Collection Palette. So I'm just going to grab the Sigma Tapered Face Brush. And I'm just going to grab the Luminous Blush and a little bit of the Matte Blush next to it. And I'm just going to pat it on my cheeks. This is my first time using this palette. I have used Champagne Pop. I do own it. It's a beautiful highlighter. So now that I'm happy with the color payoff, I'm just going to go in with, I think I'm going to go with Prosecco Pop because not a lot of people have seen it. I'm just using this on an Anastasia number 15 brush. Prosecco is more golden. Just going to apply some to the top of the arch of my brow. A little bit to my nose. And I just go in and use my finger to kind of help melt that product into my skin so it doesn't feel overbearing. Now I'm just going to go in with a quick lip. This is Noise Set by Jouer. Definitely one of my favorite formulas. It lasts throughout the day. It doesn't feel overly dry. So before I go with mascara, I'm just going to set my face a little bit. This is the Scandinavia Makeup Finishing Spray. So I just apply, apply. <laughs> I just apply a few sprays of that. It's just gonna lock in my makeup and help it last all day. Mascara I'm going to be using is Roller Lash and this one is by Benefit. I'm kind of digging this without, without lashes. I'm like, if I'm not going to wear lashes, I'm going to wear 20 coats of mascara. <laughs> okay, so I totally could have went without the lashes, but I'm just going to wear really natural ones.
like really natural. So these are Heidi by Lena Lashes. And I just apply them as close to the lash line as possible, especially because I'm not wearing liner. So a little bit of puffage. There was an eye patch on my pants and I like bugged right now because I didn't know what it was. Ooh. Kinda feels like I won't say, but you guys get it. So this is the final look guys. I just wanted to give you guys a quick and easy way how to achieve a super dewy glowy look especially with the summer months coming. If you guys liked it make sure to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. You can also find me at Instagram at Makeup by Denise. You can find me at Snapchat, Twitter and Periscope at Denise as I am. And yeah, let me know what you guys think of the Jaclyn Hill products. If you guys want to grab them. I believe that they come out in a few weeks. And I will post everything on Instagram when they do go live. But I just wanted to give you guys a little preview. A little sneak peek of what's coming out. And yeah, thank you so much for your love and support. And until next time guys, 